In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Peak Design version one everyday backpack versus version two. I'm gonna to try to take a look at every little detail. This stuff really interests me. So apologies in advance, there's a lot going on. This video might get a little bit long, but we're gonna to try to dive into every detail we can. And make sure to head over to packhacker.com for more information on more Peak Design products as well as the Peak Design Everyday 2 um, product page with more information and the best buying options there. We are gonna do a full review on this one as well, so whether it's out or not by the time this quick hit video launches, not entirely sure yet, uh, but just note that that is coming if it's not out already on the main channel and over on the website, packhacker.com. So let's get into all the details. Kicking it off with here with the exterior, there is a big change on the mag latch here, so even you can see the different shapes. And uh, this one is a little bit more narrow, whereas on version one, it's a little bit, um, a little fatter and wider. I think the V1 feels a little bit better. It just feels a little less clunky. Um, there's a lot of internal things going on on the inside here as well, I believe, that improve it. Not entirely sure. I'm not gonna take this fabric off to, to check it out, but this one does feel a lot smoother. And then I personally love that, that black look on the blue as well. So just note that. Uh, you'll see that we have two tabs here. I believe that you can attach the lash straps to or other items, whereas the Peak Design version one does not have that. And then we have these lash straps here as well. These ones are a little bit smaller, a little bit tighter than they are on the version one. And this too, it's kind of like a circular paracord-like material, whereas this was a little bit flatter. So I think this side, it just everything looks quite a bit cleaner. Um, one thing here, we have the uh, Nubuck leather accent here on both of them. So on the blue V2 and the uh, the gray, I believe this is the ash color or the charcoal color of the V1. I kind of get those mixed up sometimes, but uh, these Hypalon zippers here made it onto the V2, whereas we have the Nubuck leather zippers on the V1 and you can see maybe why. So these uh, leather ones are starting to get a little bit chewed up on the side. And on the V2, we got that very clean Hypalon look. And if you look at the Hypalon material, um, on this one, I believe it's up here. Yeah, there's some Hypalon up here. So that still looks like it's pretty good and in good condition. I think that's maybe one of the reasons why they use Hypalon. I, I think aesthetically, like it looks a little weird because you got the Nubuck, Nubuck leather, the black Hypalon, and then you've got, uh, you know, the black and leather. I don't, I don't know. There's like a lot going on in terms of accents, but I think it works. I think it pulls it together and the details are subtle enough aesthetically to work. And uh, one of the big changes here at the bottom, we have this reflector here in a separate area here. I believe you could like clip a bike light onto there if you'd like. Not the case with V2. So not entirely sure why they pulled that off. This part is reflective as well. Um, so I was up while it was still dark out and shining the light over here and noticed the reflection. So I wanted to bring that up. We still have this handy magnetic area where we pull out the lash straps. That's handy to have. They attach on the inside. Um, kind of got this plastic hardware. Of course, it's PD branded. I always love when they get all the little details branded as well. Um, but here we have aluminum G hooks that attach and lash on V1. And I think it just feels a little bit better on V1. It's still nice on V2 as well. They change up the design a little bit. Um, but yeah, that can just attach as, as it would. And uh, the G-hook one here attaches. Not the biggest change there, but aluminum here, plastic here. Um, another thing, I guess, is the zippers. So on our overview, uh, overview of all the bags, we talk a little bit about the zippers, but this uses Zoom zippers. Peak Design works very closely with Zoom. Um, I know we've heard a bunch of cases of the zippers breaking on the messenger bags. I think I had a friend when it broke like three times for him and Peak Design's always great about replacing it and, and great about repairing it. But that was definitely a pain point for the messenger. And we had some concerns in the travel backpack as well. So this uses the ordinary zoom zippers and then this V2 has Peak Design's Ultra Zip zipper, which they have, which is proprietary to them and they've worked together with Zoom to develop. So time will tell how those go. We'll kind of like probably update our review if we hear any reports. But so far, aesthetically, they look good. I mean, look at the difference between the, um, I don't know if I can get this up to the camera here, <laughs> just for you to see. 
Uh, I can't even see the monitor now. I don't even know what you're seeing, but if you can see those, the zoom zipper looks a lot different than the ultra zip. So I think the ultra zip looks a lot more refined aesthetically. It's just a nice rounded rectangle. It looks really nice. Whereas the zoom kind of has that, uh, kind of spade shape, um, on the sides. I will say that the ultra zip zips a lot more smoothly, especially when going around this corner. Nathan, uh, has been testing this one. Nathan on the team here has been testing this one for the last three weeks. So it's not uh, just brand new out of the box either. So he's gotten some great mileage and some great usage out of it as well. This old zoom zipper, I mean, it's getting a little bit tighter to use, um, but we haven't had any problems personally on the Peak Design zippers thus far, but we have heard a lot of reports from other people having issues. So time will tell on that. Uh, if we go to the side water bottle pockets, they kind of updated the, lan the key lanyard design. I don't have one to compare over here. I think we took it out. Someone's uh, using it for something else, I believe. But I don't know, the way that this bungee is, I'm not so hot on that. I kind of like the old strap, which used this uh, sort of webbing-like material. This just feels like, kind of like it'd be <laughs> the material of like a tag on a, a fancy shirt or something. So, I, I mean, it's it, it totally does its job, but that's just kind of how it feels to me. I uh, love the updated anchor system here. I remember that they released uh, updated anchors. They sent them to like everyone that had their products, which was nice. They had a bit of a recall. So these new ones are a lot better. And of course for keys, it's fine. But you know, if you're using this on a camera strap like we do with one of their straps, it's really important that this stays locked in place. So that's nice. Like Peak Design always is super nice to their customers and, and cares about the end product and what they're putting out there. So we really appreciate that. Now, uh, so yeah, that's a quick note on that. As far as the water bottle pockets go, we have these eyelets at the bottom of the V1, uh, which I guess will leak out additional liquid. And now we do not have that on the uh, V2. However, we have this meshy material on the back, which presumably will uh, breathe water water through it if any does get inside. So that's that's nice there. And then actually you can see at the bottom here that there is a little drain hole as well. So I'd be curious to see how that, since it's not reinforced with an eyelet, how long that kind of holds up. Um, bottom here. You know, we're just seeing again, those lash loops and the quality difference there. So the V2 is a big improvement. And um, yeah, I mean, we're pulling this together here. There's something else on the side I wanted to bring up. Oh yeah, the handles. So yeah, we got the new buck leather. I personally like the way that this looks, this little metal rivet right here on V1. V2 though is just a lot more seamless and you have this nice padded handle. This feels a lot better in the hand here on V2. Um, which is really, really good and, and really nice as well. The new buck leather here, you know, is nice and goes with the bag, but like this just feels better to grab. And at 30 liters, if you're filled up with camera gear, this is gonna be the better experience. Um, one of the biggest things here is the harness system. And there's actually a lot of change here. So first of all, love the magnets. Things just kind of lock into place on V2 here to keep things in line. Uh, you know, the sternum strap is overall pretty much the same. It's kind of a nice, cool look, but I think it's a little, just is a little bit kludgy to use. Never quite got 100% used to it. And I was always kind of worried that it was gonna fall off. So this just detaches here. It's a little bit easier when you're wearing it. And then you pull that over here. So that's about the same. Um, so not entirely sold on that setup and design, um, but it definitely looks nice. This looks really nice up here, I think. Like, this is a big improvement. You have these little loops here. Um, there are still loops here, but they're made out of that new buck leather, and they just, like, they cleaned up the lines. So we have two parallel lines here, uh, which is nice. And then here we, you know, we have the lines, but then the logo's on one, and then it gets a little bit floppier. This is, like, nice and tight and clean. Same with the bottom here. We just have these um, kind of like molly webbing material like straps here or pals webbing rather got to get those right and uh i think i just think that looks a lot nicer to use here versus this is just kind of just the material that's been cut and folded over so like that look a lot better as well a lot of these little details you can tell they just like really went in <laughs> and when I was looking at these, like, oh man, this is going to be such a long video. Um, but I, I love that they're, you know, looking at all the small details, taking customer feedback and really, really improving the product. So big thing to talk about too, is the straps here. So you've got this nice 
cushy, dense foam over here on V2. On V1, it almost feels like a tad more cardboardy. And I've personally used this thing in the airport filled up with camera gear. Um, and I've used that on, on travels and trips, just filled with exclusively camera gear. I was traveling with a, a videographer friend and we put all the camera gear in here and then we had a giant uh, Mission Workshop Fitzroy where we put a bunch of packing cubes with all our clothes in there. So we kind of split it up that way so we could have access. And man, that thing, we had to switch off because this was just kind of you know cutting in after a while. Now, your mileage may vary and if you don't have it filled up with a ton of camera gear, you're probably not gonna really notice it. And I know some people, I think it's fine, other people really want the improvement. But I will say on the V2, there's some great improvement to the density of the straps, which I definitely appreciate. Um, feels a lot better in the hand and it is more comfortable to wear under a heavy load. I wouldn't look at this uh, and say they're the best straps I've ever seen. Um, we sometimes get really excited about straps and reviews and we'll bring it up. But I think these are ample for the size of the bag and I think it is a good improvement on V1 here. Um, we have this uh, adjuster hardware here. Um, not much has changed on that. I love how smoothly it adjusts. Have heard some people uh, talk about how um, it can kind of like slip without you uh, adjusting it. But like we haven't noticed that and I just, I love these. They feel really great in the hand and they adjust really nicely. They just glide, which is great. You can't say that for a lot of uh, aluminum hardware. Um, so really, really like that. They kind of kept that the same, I believe, and uh, it ended up working out well for them. Now they do have this uh, additional fabric welt here to kind of cover it up and streamline the look a little bit more, whereas they have that aluminum just hanging out of this one. So I personally don't mind the aluminum just hanging out, um, but this definitely improves the look as well and uh, just keeps everything a little bit more streamlined. You know, sneaky <laughs> down here. I didn't even notice this before, but you got a sneaky eyelet loop down here, whereas we don't have it in the V1, but it is in the V2, so that's kind of interesting to look at. And yeah, um, water bottle pockets, big improvement. You got that mesh here, it's stretchy. So it stretches out. Instead of just relying on this, like we do in the V1, with the fabric for the stretch, we got this whole meshy uh, stretch part on the side. So that's definitely appreciated. Nathan had uh, V2 fully loaded out with water bottles uh, last week. He was uh, loving his beverages. So he had that fully loaded out and it felt and looked really nice. And wow, we're still on the exterior of the bag here. So the top, again, another improvement on the top handle. So I like that you can grab it here and see where this is anchored, anchored on the corners here. Whereas this is anchored on the back panel of the bag. And when you grab it, I think this V2 on the right does a little bit better job at centering the load. I mean, you can even see, you can't really see, I guess, but the left, the bag is like more tilted towards the front because it's anchored at this position. Now I do like the look of those little eyelets here, um, but I think functionally this is better. We still have those rotatable straps here and um, rotatable straps on V1, so that hasn't changed. That's nice as you're swinging this around your body, you get access to the side pockets, pull out your camera, pull out your lenses, whatever you need access to, that's really nice. And uh, that that is the same, that hasn't changed. Although you can see the Hypalon design up here at the top and the reinforcement, it's been simplified over here in V2. A little bit more complex looking over here on V1. I actually like almost the look on V1 a little bit better. Looks a little better to me personally, like just with this reinforcement, this one looks a little less reinforced, but haven't had any problems with either, so I'm not entirely sure. Now this, love the uh, the uh, luggage pass through here. It's magnetic, which I think is a much cleaner application. Peak Design always goes crazy with their magnets. Love that, and uh, I like that magnet. Versus on this one, it's Velcro. So I think Velcro just has it, uh, the, the tendency to feel a little bit sloppier. Back panel, you got a little bit of... Uh, Looks like Eva foam, it's nice and dense, kind of matches those straps, very similar on both of these. And then um, this, the padding on this bottom one kind of goes out to the sides here, whereas it stays more in the middle on the Peak Design Everyday V2. So ton, ton, a ton of little details going on on this thing. <laughs> All right, let's get into the interior here. So one of the things also that I wanted to talk about that we noticed in our review, initially of the V1 is that 
we had the bag. Go check out the video. I think we did it like two years ago in the main channel, but if you have this thing fully expanded, just to note too, in 30 liter mode, it has to be, the mag latch has to be towards the top. So that's the fully expanded 30 liter mode. That's when you get 30 liters. Um, but this top flap was down and you can actually kind of start to see if you have it really full, this side starts to come out a little bit. And that was one con that we had with the bag. You know, if it's raining and you have camera gear in here, that's about, you know, the worst thing to have inside when it comes to, to weather and, and precipitation. Uh, last thing you want is your camera gear getting wet. So that kind of happens. And you still get a little bit of it here with the V2, but it's not quite as much. So I can, like, I can pull this out and get into a position where it is open a little bit when it's fully locked down and I, I, with the bottom mag latch, and I can here as well. It's just a little bit more drastic in the V1 version, especially when it's at the top. So if you can kind of remember here, way, way less. And this is a little bit tighter here. There's not quite as much fabric, so I believe they reduced the amount of fabric on the V2 and adjusted the design, the design just a little bit. And you can see here that the, the uh, curved zipper comes way up at the top here. Um, so that's been adjusted a little bit. I think somebody emailed us too about um, kind of the access at the top and they have trouble getting things at the top. It's about the same. I would even say that the V2 maybe seems a little bit smaller in terms of top access, but hey, that's why you get the side access. And I think the side access has improved on this one. You can see it just visually looks a little bit bigger. The zipper kind of comes up here. The panel's larger, uh, which is nice. And then before I forget, somebody else asked us too that uh, they emailed us and they asked about kind of the material here. So I, I believe that uh, like they, they said it was getting ripped or something. So I sent them a photo of both of these materials next to each other. This is more of like a ballistic weave. This one feels like a little more rip stoppy. Uh, I put my money on durability on V2 personally. Um, yeah. And then if we just open this top and you can just see some of the details again, I know we are due to this, but the logo and the aesthetic here has changed a little bit. So let's go on to the inside. <laughs> this video is getting long. Wow. And uh, if I open this up, we can take a look at some of the differences in the, uh, let me just close the mag latch, make it look a little bit better. Keep it in frame. So if we open this up, we have the origami cubes. Those haven't changed much between version one and version two. At least from what I've been able to tell, they still function pretty much the same. Um, you know, overall the, uh, the kind of uh, padding or the material might have changed a little bit, but it still functions. Uh, just as well. One thing I want to talk about is the organization on these side pockets. So already you can see here that there's a little bit of extra fabric reinforcement that kind of keeps this from fully opening up. And that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing, uh, depending on, on what you think. And we got two zippers on the side to zip both these sides up and down as well. So on this top here, I love this little stretchy mesh pocket. We've got a magnet too that closes it up and uh, you can get access to it in there. I'm actually like at, at this position, this is looking like more of a pain to open up because it doesn't quite flip all the way up like, like V1. Like, like your mileage may vary. Um, I'm actually kind of liking V1 just in this position more, but oftentimes, you know, this is gonna be sitting down here and this is plenty. This is plenty open. Um, so just note that. And now, yeah, we have this uh, magnetic kind of pocket at the top with a mesh. And you open this up, you have two mesh divider pockets on the interior as well for, you know, camera card accessories, things like that. And uh, this one, the V1, it opens right up. I've heard a lot of people talking about this fabric kind of stretching a little bit. And you open that up and you get some nice organization on the inside, but it's kind of, I don't know, a little bit clunkier, the access. It's like you open this big flap, like what are you going to have, you know, stuff in there and then in these pockets and like, why does it have to be that big? I think it's a lot better here with this two pocket system on the side. And yeah, if we're gonna open both of these way up, because why not? Pretty much the same thing going on here on the other side. I think Nathan left something in there. <laughs> we always leave stuff in bags and it just disappears forever. So, um, not uncommon here. The, the interior has changed a little bit, so you can see we got this kind of funky blue pattern going on in V1 still in the back here. Kind of nice, those triangles give you a bit of a, a grid as to where to put these origami things. 
And you kind of have like the same concept here, just a little bit differently designed. So you have these horizontal lines. Personally, I like that better. Like, I don't know if you need the diagonal. Um, so that, that's really nice for you to be able to uh, position the origami in there however you see fit. So zip these both up. Again, I mean, I don't know, that ultra zip, it just glides so nicely. And the older zoom zips are decent, but they're a little harder to, to uh, zip up. Both these zippers uh, have nice weather resistance, which is great. And then, yeah, I mean, if we just take a look here, we got this pocket back here. That's for the laptop. Let me pull V2 up as well. Nearing the finish line with this video. Oh, just the way that opens up just feels so much better. So yeah, on V1, got a nice laptop pocket. I know it's maybe a bit hard to share on screen, but you got some partitions in here as well um, for, for uh, your, help me with the words, guys, tablet. And then you've got a space for your laptop in the back and this nice little quick, quick drop pocket at the top here. I like, I personally, I always like this, the way that opens up. Um, really nice, really stretchy. And then if we open up the, uh, this laptop compartment, we have a similar layout here. So we've got that quick drop pocket here, although it's been, uh, the space has been cut into a little bit because of this um, little mesh divider pocket here. So you got quick drop, two mesh divider pockets, which is nice. You got some reinforcement up here on these just to kind of keep everything a little bit more organized. Open that right up and then you have a space for a tablet and then a laptop as well. One of the great things here is that you can customize the size of this laptop pocket. So you, if you got a little 13 inch MacBook Air, you know, you got a MacBook Pro, you got a ThinkPad or whatever, you can adjust the size of this to fit in here exactly in terms of depth. So you still got that false bottom, which is great if you drop this, you know, like that. Um, it's not going to hit. This has a false bottom too. But you can adjust the position of where that false bottom is, which is nice. So it can be a little bit higher. And um, that's just a really nice touch. And it, again, just goes to show that Peak Design is kind of always thinking of things. And <laughs> as I was talking about leaving things in bags, I forgot the one last pocket on the interior here on the top flap. So let's open that right up. Try to keep it on screen here. Love the way this is done. It's got the magnet there. You got the reinforcement at the top hidden pocket here. Um, so you can open that right up. And it's still nice on this one, the old V1 as well, but the, the material is a little different. It just is a little less. I love the stretchy mesh on V2. Material is a little different on V1. Still got that magnet, but these are nice little hidden stash pockets. I actually uh, left my passport in here and my buddy took it on a trip. I was looking all over for it. And then a week later, he came back with this, you know, just kind of testing it on his trip and uh, he still hadn't seen it yet. So great hidden pocket, not even uh, I could find, uh, remember that. Um, clearly I barely remembered on this video either. So there you have it, our detailed comparison of version one and version two of the Peak Design Everyday Backpack. I know that was a long video, but I wanted to make sure to get into every single little detail for those of you wanting to learn the differences between these two bags. And you know, if the iteration is worth buying or not, I personally think um, that this is a great iteration and a great improvement on an already solid bag and an already solid line. So um, be sure to check out our full review on the V2 or the overview of all the new Peak Design V2 everyday products. We got a nice video on the entire line. And uh, make sure to check that out. Again, full review over at packhacker.com on this and on the YouTube channel. Um, coming soon or already up, depending on when we decide to post this video. So thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next video.